What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so in this episode right here, I got a little convinced. I need to capture an Aron because, uh, yeah, he's going to be needed in the next, uh, the next gym battle or so. Gonna need him and all that stuff. Now, if you guys remember, in Pokemon Omega uh, Emerald, I actually did capture him, replaced him with Scar or Sty, uh, what was it? Skyblade. Yeah, Skyblade. Because I already had a steel tap Pokemon, but you know what? I can't use Auron right here. I do have a, I do have a Pokemon right here that can actually take care of it, especially uh, since it's a kind of like a physical attack right here. So I'm gonna go with one more head, but hopefully it doesn't faint. And uh, yes, thankfully to that hardened attack right there. Okay, so he's gonna give me a chance to actually capture this guy. Okay, well, let's go with one more headbutt, and uh, there we go. Alrighty. Go ahead, mud slap me and all that stuff. Eh, it's gonna lower my speed and all that crud, but it's okay. So here it is. We're gonna be capturing this guy right here. So let's go find a Pokeball suitable for this guy. And crud, seriously, a netball? Good god. Okay, so we're gonna throw a netball at this guy. Ah, uh, crud. There we go. One, two, three, and there you go. Throwing out the peace sign, guys. Auron has been caught. There we go. And Gaia the Fierce Knight grows to level 28, which is always great. And let's get that info right here. Look at that. Auron looking all beastly and all that stuff. Now, you guys can't see it on the bottom, but I actually encountered Auron seven times. It's both a steel and rock type Pokemon. And uh, what it says right here, this Pokemon right here has the bottle of steel. To make its body, uh, to make its body, Auron feeds on iron ore that it digs from the mountains. Occasionally, it causes major trouble by eating bridges and rails. Wow. This Pokemon uh, has a has a big appetite and all that stuff. Anywho, guys, I'm gonna fast forward right to Mauville. I'll see you guys in a bit. Alrighty, guys. So we're back in Mauville City, and uh, well, I didn't do any training at all. Mainly because I got two, maybe three Pokemon close to evolution. And I kind of want to show it to you guys right here. During the battle. This is not going to be no Pokemon Liquid Crystal right here. This is actually the real deal. So, we're going to be going back all the way to Mount Chimney. And uh, I did teach Claymore its Rock Smash. So that way we don't have to worry about, you know, Rock Smash Pokemon or anything like that. It's only a, this right here is only a small part of uh, what we need to do in order to, you know, get through this whole area, like, unscathed and all that crud. And, uh, well, here we are, Mount Chimney and all that crud, and, uh, the Team Magma members have left already, and, uh, well, we don't need a bike right here, but before we go up to the, up to the, uh, the little elevator there, we're gonna grab this, and hey, look at that, we found ourselves a guard spec. That's good. That's nice. Okay, so let's go right ahead and, uh, Get up here, and uh, let's see what, what, what we got We got to do right here. Now, if you talk to this lady, the cable car is ready to depart. Would you like to board it? Yes, I do. Step right this way. Okay, alrighty. I'm going right here. Look at the view on this one. Look at the view on this one. We're going all the way up to the goddamn volcano right there. Oh, my God. First time we're ever going onto a volcano. Alrighty, okay, so here we are up top of Mount Chimney and all that done, and, uh, let's see, thank you for using the cable card, now, let's see, uh, is there anything we need to do, a vending machine, yeah, I only got $24 down <laughs> to my name right here, and hey, this guy's like, I know something, the receptionists at the base are twins, the receptionists at the peak are also twins, wow, okay, it, it would seem like everybody's a twin, everywhere you go. Okay, so here we are in Mount Chimney, and, uh, well, these guys are, yeah, battling each other right here. Don't want to get in between this whole thing right now. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be going up against Team Magma now. This is, like, actually the first part of this whole situation, going into Team Magma and whatnot. And, uh, well, I got my Pokemon perfectly trained right here. I think you only battle, like, three, while well, everybody right here is just battling. Look at that. Look at that. Poochiena versus Poochiena versus Poochiena right here, and, uh... Well, look at that. Three against one. Get out of my blessed way, you scary Team Magma knaves. Or face my knee hauling. Oh, damn. It's a good nickname for a Pokemon. Knee haul. Knee hauling. 
Nihal? Nihal Ling. I don't even know. Okay, and, uh, well, first we gotta do this. Uh, I do have Pokemon that will probably evolve in this in this episode, but I kind of want to get Claymore into the mix, and then the mix, I should say, and, uh, battle this guy right here. We of Team Magma are working hard for everyone's sake. Like, if there's more land, there'd be more places to live. Everyone would be happy. But what about water? Where would the water be? I don't know. Here we go, battling up against the Team Magma Grunt, and he is coming out with his Poochiana right here. And look at that, like, look at the background. We're in a goddamn volcano right here. It's pretty scary, pretty awesome. And, uh, well, I'm not going to do anything. It's a level levels uh, higher than me. And, uh, well, let's see, who is the best choice right here? The best choice. You know what, let's go, you know what, let's go with Sage of the Halo right here. And, uh... Go ahead and take some pairs. So take care of some business right here. So let's go. Sage of the Halo, what's up? And Crud throwing in that roar attack. And uh, who is he bringing out? Oh, he messed up. He done messed up right now. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, use that Dragon Tail attack right here. And uh, why, why are you using Odor Sloop, man? Not going to do anything. God dang it, he avoided it. Okay, so... Dragon Rage. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Nearly, nearly defeats this guy, but here we go again. Another Dragon Rage. And that's a knockout right there. Oh, yeah. And uh, Claymore doesn't get, well, it gets a few points here and there, but it will not, it will, it will not uh, level up like that that quickly. So here we go. We're going to be switching out to Gaia the Fierce Knight right now. And, uh, well, Gaia is also another Pokemon that will probably evolve by this episode. Maybe the next one. I don't know. It's got two levels left. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and just destroy this guy right here. Now, I did teach it Charging Beam or Charge Beam. It's a good attack since it does have a good special right here. And, uh, look at that. No more coughing. And, uh, well, this team Magma Gray is like, huh. What do you mean I lost? You lost. Badly. Okay, so that's one guy down, and uh, well, we got oh, we got Tabitha right here. All right, so now he, he's a Pokemon trainer. Ah, screw it, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go with what I got right now. So let's see what he's at, what he has to say. He's looking at me all cockeyed and everything. <laughs> uh, it's you. You're the one who tried to interrupt me, Tabitha, at, me at the Meteor Falls. D do you do you intend to get in my way once more? Yes, I do. <sighs> You're really, 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 and I'm not an I'm not, obnoxious I'm not child, aren't you? Uh, I will crush you so that you never get in my way again. Okay, let's do this. Battling Tabitha. Now that's a girl's name right there. Now I'm not gonna go through that. It might be a unisex name. I don't know. So here we go. Claymore getting some experience points for no apparent reason. And uh, well, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's uh, hmm. Let's go with Raiden. Yeah, let's go with Raiden right here. If I go, if I go with Gaia, it will more than likely use a Poison type attack. And uh, here's that Assurance attack. Nothing. So let's go, Raiden. Use that Volt Switch. Destroy him. Oh yes. And uh, well, takes a good chunk, but nearly makes him faint. So I'm gonna actually switch out to Gaia right here. And uh, there we go. Gaia the Fierce Knight, tracing that uh, Levitate right there. And uh, here comes another Assurance. Not so powerful. So what was I worried about again? Let's go. Confusion. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. That's right. That's right. You are not an admin. And Claymore grows to level 12. It's going to grow slowly but surely. And Hydra number 1 or 2 has grown to level uh, 20 or 31 right here. So let's, uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We're going to go with Claymore again. We're going to try and get this guy to uh, grow a few levels on screen. And then off screen, I'm going to be capturing a buttload of Pokemon. 
and uh, what else? What else am I gonna do right here? I don't even know. I could go for a bulldoze, but that right there would be a bad idea. So let's go switch out to Hydra number two right here, and let's take care of business. Now, let's see. I think it's right after this one. Or you know what? I could do it after the badge, uh, the fourth badge. Yeah, I, I might do it after the fourth badge, where I'm, I will start capturing a buttload of Pokemon. And then, uh, you know, start making teams. Different scenes, a vast variety of teams. Hell, I might even bring back some old teams from, like, older walkthroughs that I did back when I was a uh, Draven XC711. You know, the first Emerald team, if I could remember it. Uh, the first Leaf Green. You know, that kind of stuff. The Platinum team. You know, old, old freaking uh, teams that I had back in the day. And look at that. Claymore grows to level 13 and wants to learn Rock Tomb. And uh, uh, we're going to keep the moves that it has right now. Uh, yeah, we're going to keep it. Yeah, we're going to keep them. That's right. So I did not learn Rock Tomb. And, uh, well, that is the end of that. Yet again. <laughs> And uh, we're getting a lot of money off of that. Now, if you guys are wondering why I had 24 Poke Dollars, I bought more TMs. I'm trying to buy out the TMs over at Mauville. Anywho, I knew you would be strong. What a shame, though. The meteorite we got from the uh, professor, whoever is already in our boss's hands. Where is the boss, you ask? Ah, yes, yes, right this way. Oh, I do hope you can uh, you can be shown Team Magma's true power. <laughs> okay. Whatever you say. Now, before we do anything, there is a little bit of a place right here. We can go to down to the volcano and uh, grab this little thing. We get ourselves the TM49 Incinerate. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, so now we're going to be going upstairs. And, uh, well, let's go right here. And uh, what, are we, what are we doing? What are we doing? Okay, so... Yeah, we're going to be taking care of uh, another guy right here. This guy is a little bit tougher than usual, and I am thinking he's going to be starting out with his flying-type Pokemon. So, let's go right ahead and uh, take care of this challenge right now. That's right. What do you got to say, buddy? He's looking. Oh, man, I love their theme song. I really do. The power contained in this meteorite. If we merge the explosive energy contained within this planet's core with the meteorite's power... I remember those eyes. In the in the indomitable will that seems to burn behind them. Ah. Uh, now recall, you are the one who defied us at Slateports. Oceanic Museum. <laughs> in your presence here tells me that you have defeated Tabitha. Yes, I see now that the stirring in of interest I felt was not misplaced. Hmm. You show true promise. Fine. I will attempt to educate you. Yeah. Down since years ago, there lived a most powerful being that was said to be capable of creating new lands on the planet. The power which we in Team Magma seek, this power which can expand the available landmass, belongs to the legendary uh, and super ancient Pokemon. Though now it slumbers, having lost the source of its power and been trapped into deep sleep. So what is it that we must do to awaken this slumbering giant? Our research has led us here to Mount Chimney. Yes, here, to this very meteorite. If we create the right conditions, we should find ourselves able to alter this meteorite's qualities. Yes, even into a mega stone, even into a keystone. In here, at Mount Chimney, hmm, I should not say too much. That is the end of the, today's lesson. Oh damn. Now then, I believe it's time we begin. The time for the purge has come. I do believe that I made myself quite clear when we were at last in Slayport. I warned you that any fool standing in our way would be met without mercy. I will bury you by my own hand. I hope you appreciate this honor. I love this theme song. I really do. I'm just going to let it play right now. Oh yeah, bring it on, you asshole! So here we go, we're gonna be ba uh, battling Team Magma Mexi, and, uh... Oh yeah, look, the theme song I really do, man, it's one of my favorites. The remix right here. And, uh, well, he started out with his Mighty Anna, so it's Dog versus Dog right here, and, uh, well... 
I'm gonna go with the Volt Switch right here. It's very logical. Here we go. Volt Switch, get this gone. Takes half its HP, and we're switching out our Pokemon right here. Alrighty, who are we choosing? Let's go. Oh, crud. Let's go with Vesuvius right here. Why Vesuvius? It's a little strong. And uh, because of that right there. <laughs> you powered up my Pokemon right now. Oh, yes. Okay, alrighty. It became quite confused. So, let's go right ahead and use a physical attack right here. Let's go with strength. Come on, come on, Vesuvius. Yeah, buddy. Strength attack. Kicks his candy ass. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And look at that. Vesuvius growing to level 24. It's finally getting the hang of how to battle and all that stuff. And Raiden grows to level 27. And, uh, well, he's going to be coming out with a Camerupt. Now, this is a little interesting. It is a very, 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 very powerful Pokemon. So, we're going to be going straight to Hydra 2. And we're going to be kicking some more ass right now. Oh, yes. Camerupt, the Pokemon that I wish to have right now. Hydra 2, what's up? Camerupt, what's up? He wants to catch these hands, but really, Gyarados has no hands right now. So, let's go right ahead and continue our Dragon Rage. Let's go. Dragon Rage. 40 automatic HPs right there. Look at that. It takes all of that shit. And here comes that Lava Plume attack. Okay. Here we go. Let's go with a Dragon Tail right here. And he's using... What? Wait, how are you faster than my Pokemon? I want to know that. Here we go. Dragon Tail. Takes him out. KO. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. And look at that, Claymore, without any, you know, issues, grows to level four, uh, 14. And here comes, uh, oh crud, not the one, yeah, it's coming with the gold bat. So, I'm gonna go straight back to Raiden right here. I got two Pokemon right here. I got two Pokemon that can defeat this Raid, uh, this, uh, this gold bat. Hell, I even got Toxic Batman in the PC, you know, ready to kick some more butt if it need be. So let's go with another Volt Switch. Here we go, Raiden, go with the Volt Switch. Takes him out, just like that. Yeah, and you say, and you said you were the king of the jungle right here. Look at that, Sage grows to level 35. <laughs> so surprised, he's like, uh, you're quite capable. I fell behind, but only by an inch. Oh yes, money, money, money. Hell yeah. Look at that, looking at me all smug and everything. Oh, so you're repulsed, uh, you're repulsed by the great Maxim battle. <laughs> you never failed to entertain me. An excellent start. This time, permit me to unleash my full strength. Once you tested my po uh, Pokemon's Mega Evolved uh, power, you will say goodbye to your last, uh, your last shred of hope. Oh wow, he was gonna battle me with the Mega Stone, and uh, he gets a call right here. He's like, "Hmm, yes, it's me." Oh, then it's at Mount Pyre. I understand. I will come at once. I am sorry to cut our battle short, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to excuse myself. Such rudeness demands reparation. Take this meteorite with my apologies. You may do with it what you like. Well, at least, you know, he gives me still, like, he still gives me an item. I mean, shoot, he's nice enough to do that stuff. You're a stand-up guy, Maxie. You're, you're, you're a stand-up guy. Okay, alrighty. And I will not... Again, forget uh, the face of the trainer who managed to thwart me in battle. Flipping you off, Maxi. I'm flipping you off. Okay, alrighty. And, uh, oh, wow. This guy right here. Huh. If it ain't that little scamp. But blast that, Maxi. He just escaped us. And he just left us behind, or he left behind that meteor that, he, that he's, so, he's been crazy about finding? Can't, he can't be. Could he have found out where the real orbs are hidden? The sneaky little scientific so-and-so. I'm always left uh, watching his bony backside run two steps ahead of me. You know you wanted to call him an SOB. You know you did. Don't deny it. <laughs> so he's your Gary to your uh, red, right? Right? Uh, uh, can you hear me? Don't, okay, fine. He, he ignored me and all that stuff. Okay, so, uh, anywho, we defeated this guy right here. And look at the volcano right here, man. That's freaking awesome. This is why I, I really do love Pokemon Oras because, damn, they really did a good job with this. 
Now, let's see. This mysterious machine, it gives no response whatsoever. Hmm. Well, it wasn't going to do anything right here. So now we're done with this whole uh, little uh, little shindig right here. And, uh, well, I think that's pretty much it. Everybody leaves. Nobody's going to be here to battle until a little bit later on. And uh, the next destination will be uh, the, what was it? Yeah, it will be Lava Ridge. So stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be going to Lava Ridge and, uh, you know, battling a bunch of people along the way. I don't even know. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Oh,